How to build a landing page for ebooks and digital products. Hello there, today we will learn more about landing page and how to make one for your ebooks and digital products. So, what is a landing page? A landing page is basically a web page specifically designed to persuade visitors to take a certain action, such as filling out a form, subscribing to a service, or buying a product. Um, this is a focused and a optimized web page designed to converse, convert visitors to leads and customers by providing a clear and compelling call to action. So for us to begin with our landing page, what you need to do is go to our um, to the website. You just need to go to brilliantdirectories.com. From there, you will need to create your own account and they will be providing you a seven day free trial for you to try it out. So you just need to sign in. And as you can see, I already have signed into my account here where this will be the dashboard or the home page for your account so this is the landing or the home page for you to create your own landing page for your ebooks and other products so first thing that you will need to do on the left side panel of the screen there are a lot of menus that you can choose from since you'll be creating a landing page what you need to do is go to my content and go to media manager So from the media manager, you will need to upload your PDF file for the ebook first before we start creating the landing page. So all you have to do is just click on the upload image or PDF. So aside from downloading the PDF or the ebook, you can also download a, the front page of the book and also a background image for your landing page and etc. So what you need to do here is just click on upload and then you'll be routed to this page and you just need to drag and drop the file. Okay, once you have drag and drop the file, just wait for it to load up and you can now go back to all media. Here. Once you are routed into this page, you just need to right click on the PDF file that you downloaded and you need to copy the URL or the link. Here, so you click on copy URL and then select all the text and then copy and paste it into your notepad since you will be needing this later on. Then click on OK. Once we click on OK, what we need to do now is we will be creating a confirmation page with PDF download button. So we'll be creating a page where the customers or your clients can download the PDF file. So here what I'm doing right now is actually testing out the link if it's working fine. And we can just go back to our website builder and then we can just go ahead and go to my content still and then go to web page builder when you click on it you need to go to new web page so we need to create a new one and then we just need to fill out the informations here so let's start with what's the name of the web page or what's the name of the link so what I did here is sample and then the main title, so report, ebook sample, or report sample. And then for the subtitle, you can just click on or type in download the PDF below. Or you can also add click and download a PDF below. So from here, once that's filled out, you just need to go to hero section. And then on the drop down, drop down button, click on all devices. So here is the page where you will need to add a background image. 
and you will also need to edit or you can also edit the text or the title text as well like what the font would be or what color the font is so you just need for it to load up i'm currently in process for me to upload the image for the background okay once that's loaded up this will be the information or the things that you'll do it will be the files that you uploaded earlier on media manager then once you have chosen the image you can just go ahead and edit the text on your web page so you can choose what color choose what fits best for your web page to save the changes first before you go back to the home page so that all of these informations that we created will be saved so click on save changes that's right above the screen but before that you can actually go to page content first where you will need to input or put a button where the customers or where the clients will be able to click the link so here there's a button link or you can also have other basin content blocks that is provided below so here we'll just test out the um, click or button link so what you need to do is click on the button and then click on the pencil icon so here you will input on what text do you want to appear on the button and then with the click uh, with the link we copied earlier we just need to input it on the url portion okay once done you can just click on update and then you can also resize or how you would want the button to appear So here there's a lot of button or types of buttons and there's also the sizes here. So large, small, depending on what you prefer. Okay, once you are done with that, you can go ahead and click on save changes. And then when you click on save changes, you just need for it to load up. And then from here, you when you go back or when you test and view the page you can just click on it beside the title here you'll see view page and then this is how it will appear once the customers will be routed to downloading the PDF file so when we tap on the click here this will be the page that we will be routed to. So that was the PDF file that we uploaded earlier. So here as well is um, page options for the PDF not to be available on the search engines. You can click on or toggle on apply no index and no follow so that if people will search for the PDF, it will not be showing on the search engine. One other thing that we can do here is that we can create a confirmation email that would be under emails and then we need to click on email templates and then we will be creating a new one. So here we will input what the name of the template is. So ebook PDF download or you can type in that ebook is now ready for you to download. And then you make sure that on below the save temp template button, you need to make sure that you input a template name for you to proceed. And then once you have the title, you can go ahead and type in the template name. Here, and once you have the template name, you can go ahead and click on the content blocks. So we can add an image here. Book is ready. 
So you just need to fill out everything here the same as what we've done earlier. So here on the image, you can actually input here, or since what I had here is just a sample, you can actually use the cover of the book or the ebook that you are going to be putting on the web page. So once completed, you can go ahead and save template. And uh, when you go back, there you will have the email template that you have on the account. So from here, what you need to do is that you will need to create the form for the customers to fill out before they will be able to download the PDF file. So you need to go to toolbox and then go to under toolbox to form manager and you just need to click on new form. And then from here, you just need to fill out the informations like what is the nickname of the form. And then you can go ahead and click on save and continue. Then go, click on OK. And from here, this will, on the right side, will be the form preview. So this is how it will appear. And here on the left side will be the informations or the details that you can edit. So for example, you don't want the phone number to be included on it. On the form, you can just click on actions and then click on delete. And then once you're satisfied with that or once you're good with the information that you will need from the customers or your clients, you can go ahead and click on save changes. When you click on save changes, just wait for it to load up. And there you can see that the phone number is no longer on the form. So we can go ahead and click or so what we did here is you need to edit the form settings first. So once you click on that here, you will need to click on redirect to another page. And then you will be copying the link for the first web page that we created earlier where the customer can download the PDF. So here, and then while it's loading, you can have a message before the page will be fully loaded up or before the customer will be rerouted to the page. So once done, you can just go ahead and click on save changes. And you can also have email notification as an option here. So if the customer will be routed to that page, they will be receiving a email notification from us, or they. this is also an option where we will be notified if there is someone who will access the PDF. So you just need to click on save changes. And then from here, we will need to create another web page. So as you can see, it is now available or the form that we created is now on the one of the options. So we can click on my content and we need to go to media manager or web page builder rather. And then we need to create a new page. So from here, this is the same process as the first part that we created. Once you're done there, you can go ahead and pick a content block. And then what you do need to do here is you need to delete the part where you will be able to attach the image. And instead, you need to paste the short code for the form manager or the form that we created earlier. Okay, so the button link is no longer needed and we just need to edit the reads here. Oh. And then once completed, you can we can go ahead and click on save changes for it to load up. And once done, we can view the page. 
And there you have it. You can see the form that we created has been embedded into our page. And then we can try to fill it out and then we can try to submit the request that we created. Or we can even add an image as well below the download details. Here. Okay, so we save the changes if you had any additional information. And then here, we what we'll do here is we'll try to access the ebook to see if everything is good and running. So here, you enter your name and any message that you want. Thank you. And then it's in the process. Here, as you can see, just wait for it to load up. And then there you have it. You have been rerouted to the first web page that we created. And when click here is being tapped on, it will route the customers or the clients to the new or to the PDF file for the ebook. And on the e under emails as well on the left side panel, you can actually click on forms inbox where you will be able to view here or track who were able to access the web page that we created. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye.